Hey guys, welcome to Brandy's Budget Adventures. I am standing outside of the Walmart parking lot getting the breeze. It was so hot today, but now it is about the storm, so you know how you get that breeze coming through, and the breeze is feeling good. So I hope it just holds out so I can make my little video. All right. Okay, so I live in my 2003 Chevy Express. Um, his name is Ziggy, and it's hot in Florida, so I do have a stand-up AC unit, however, I do not have the power to run it, so I've been using just a little fans, I do have a box fan, and I have two small USBs, it has been doing the job, some nights it's hot, hotter than others, some nights it's completely fine, there's a a breeze coming through with the fans is perfectly fine. Some nights are a little bit hard, but so I wanted to try that little swamp cooler thingy bajiggy. So, first, I'm gonna show you the things that I found and I'll tell you where I got them from. So, the first thing I got are the two curved PCV tubes. I got this kind, I don't know the words or whatever, because I think it'll probably fit in the thing a little bit better. So, I'm going to have two glowing things. And these were from Home Depot, and they were $7.27 a piece. So, two of them together was $14.54. Then, I got two because I didn't know if I would need more than one. My thing was I was going to get a styrofoam cooler because it seems like the easiest to cut. I don't have no tools and stuff. So I did get me one of those um, blade knife thingies. But I got two packs of these this insulation tape because I'm camera it probably looks like duct tape but it's the actual that insulation tape it says reflective full tape for sealing joining and applying insulation sheets but I'm going to seal join and apply it to my cooler so I got that and those were the tape was $4.97 a piece so I got Also got this Stanley Hobby knife so I can cut the lid, my circles. I got that, it was $3.97. And then the last thing I got from Home Depot was thread seal tape because I'm gonna put it in around this and you know hopefully it'll do the job. Stay in place. If I have to get some some glue or something, I'll do that too. So those things alone from Home Depot after taxes came out to thirty one dollars and thirty four cents. And then I was gonna get the the styrofoam cooler, but since Fourth of the July passed. Ain't nobody got none. So, and I was thinking maybe it would, it kind of probably would destroy a little bit quicker anyway. So, what I got was from Walmart, and it is a Sterilite bin. And it does have four of the locking things on each side. And what I like best is because. does have I'm trying to see if it's in it says moisture dirt and pest resistance but it has this little foaming thing around the lid so once it's locked into place it gives it a good seal so I thought that was pretty good so yeah so I'm gonna have my things one on each side one here one here and my fan 
in the middle. I already have a couple of fans, so I didn't feel that I needed to buy another one. I only use like one at a time anyway, so I'm hoping that that one will work just fine. So see you next. So far, the rain has held off, it's drizzling here and there. Um, but I managed to get the base, the big part of it insulated. I used the insulation tape and I covered the whole thing. I mean, I think I did a good, good job, and then it's gonna have a seal tight lid on it. And I know somebody gonna get in the comments. What about this part? You didn't cover this part. Shut up, Becky. Okay, I know I didn't cover that part. Cause I don't feel like it. Look at the inside. I don't look. It looked like an insulated bag. Like it looked like it was all insulated, right? I did a good job. Thank you. Oh, while I'm preparing for my next step, I will tell you why I was looking for all the stuff. I always go on the clearance aisle in Walmart because I like doing the Walmart hidden clearance, especially in the clearance aisle. Even though some stuff don't be hidden clearance, but it still be on sale. So, what I found was a towel holder. Let me show you this side. Under the counter towel holder. It's cute. It's got a different type of thing, you know, than the traditional thing, so that's nice, but guess what, y'all, it was on sale for one dollar and one cent, so y'all check y'all on um, clearance aisles, because they be having some good deals, they got some shoes over there, well, the one I go to had a whole bunch of summer, summer sandals and stuff on clearance, but this is KU, and it was only one dollar. Together. A lot of uh, stuff. Just the back from the tape. Just kidding. You know, some people, when they go shopping and they get all this stuff out of their Walmart bag, they just throw them away. No, you use it as a trash bag, okay? Pick up your trash and put it in the Walmart bag. Top 
stuff don't come off or I can't get it off and I'm trying and I want to do it without breaking it. The thing is, the way this is, this white thing is a light. It's a lamp. They have it connected in such a way that, I mean, you can't just unscrew it off. And I don't want to break it. Because it's got some, I guess there's some cords maybe that's going from the light down into the thing or something. In some kind of way it's going, I don't know, but it ain't coming off, okay? It's not coming off. So, but I'm going to use it anyway. So, I'm just hoping it does, it'll be able to pull out the air. Like, I have it on full screen. Okay, let me turn it off. Okay, I'm turning the, um, I thought I turned it off. Okay, so, this is off. This is the first setting. Second. full strength that's the third setting so I'm hoping that third setting will be enough to blow that air cool because I'm not trying to buy another one Oh, let me show y'all what I got from Walmart uh, a few months back. It's a little cute camera. Bam. little cute camera. I can bop somebody on the head. But it's also flathead screwdriver.
Oh, and this thing, look, it's cool. So with the fan, it has one, two, three, seven. I don't know what that little, I guess, I don't know what that's for. But it does have another button for a timer. And it has two hours, four hours, eight hours. And also, it has a button for the light. The brightness, it has a one, two, and a three setting. It has a USB charger. upside down and you can use it on the flat surface surface just like that so yeah it's worth the money
gonna call it no circle. Cause the circle, circle is perfectly round. And y'all don't know my struggle, okay? Y'all don't know my struggle. You don't know my story. It's all ahead. Cause see, then I went and found this. But um. even know if the thing gonna fit but So, it finally started raining. Can y'all see me? Okay. You see that glow? Ah, it's sweat. But anyways, it did finally start storming. It was doing it a little harder. I know you can hear it. Um, I have one window down because it's out of here. And I'm not going to turn my phone on and run no air because gas is expensive and I'm cheap. But anyways, I finally finished it. It's not perfect, and I know I can modify stuff at a later time. So, my big hole for my fan is not perfect, and it's pretty much just going to sit on top, and I'll put something on top of it to give it a press down seal. One of my little holes was a little bit loose, so this one could fall out, So, but it's good like that because now I can turn it in whatever direction I need to turn it in. This one, you know, I made it just right, so it plopped in there. But, see, those are the holes, and the air will blow out to whatever however I sit it. So, and then the fan will pretty much sit on top. And then there will be ice in my bucket. It will be locked and loaded. And we gonna see if this thing gonna work. Girl, I'm so excited. But I need to go get my ice now, but it is raining and I ain't getting out there because I ain't trying to be sick. So, as soon as I get out of here, I'm just so excited. I hope it works. I think I'm going to just get two bags of ice. That should be enough. Go just one giant bag. I am so excited. I want to see if this thing is going to work, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to show y'all in a minute. As soon as it starts raining. Okay, bye. Because I'm gonna put some in my regular cooler to cool off my water and my soda. So, yeah. So, I'm not filling it up, but I did put a little over half of the bag in here and then the other half in my little cooler just to cool out my ice so I can have some cold at night and in the morning. So, the moment of truth. This is how it looks. Better like. This is how it looks. I think it turned out kind of cute. Look, ghetto swamp cooler. So let's see if I can actually feel anything. I'm gonna put it on the highest one. And as soon as I turned it on, as soon as I turned it on. I can feel now I know 
Oh my gosh. I wonder how long it's gonna stay cold. Like I'm sitting in the driver's seat, and this is sitting actually where the passenger seat would have been, and I feel it. And this uh fan is not one of those nice expensive high power one, it's just a little cheap one from Walmart. Oh my gosh, I made an AC unit, y'all. I'm a pro. Okay, I think I'm going to go get my um, AC license or something. Oh my God, this is going to feel so amazing back there when I'm laying on my bed. And I hope this, oh my God. So guys, I am in my nightie and I am in the bed and it is feeling good. It's not like freezing like a freezing cold, but it is so comfortable. I don't like being cold, cold anyway, but it is cold in here. It's not hot. So maybe in the next video, I'll let you know if it stayed cool the whole night. Yeah, I got on my Walmart granny, granny game. But, um, yes, it's feeling so good. And I am just so excited. Um, I will say that because it rained or whatever, it's not as hot as it was during the day when it was when I was sweating. So, I mean, adding that, it made it real cool. So, I don't know how what the effect would be in the middle of the day when it's like the sun is beaming. But I'm going to try it out then as well, too. And I will let y'all know. But, hey, do what y'all got to do. Make you a swamp cooler, y'all. So, I'm getting ready to go to bed, but thanks for watching, y'all, Brandy's Budget Adventures. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Good night.